Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the first for you. I went to the Ubiquitous Hair Show and that was actually the first hair show that I ever went to. So I decided to come on and just kind of vlog. So the vlog part is Skeptic goes to a natural hair show. Does she end up liking it or not? Because I always used to say, well, I don't really see the point of hair shows. I'll just wait for Black Friday. But last year I was looking at some YouTube videos of hair shows and people just had so much fun and they got so much stuff and you know, they just loved it. So I decided that this year for sure I'm going to go check it out. So if you want to find out my final opinion, my review of Ubiquitous and whether I'm going to go to hair shows in the future, stay tuned. So it's pretty dark in here. This is my first time coming to one and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't care about celebrities, I don't care about reality stars, I don't care about most bloggers or most of the products they have at this, but somebody was saying that, you know, it's good for sales and there are some speakers later that might be interesting, so I decided to come check it out. So this is the skeptics trip to a hair show, first hair show. So far I've seen like pink, like Lusters and Aunt Jackie's, neither of which are brands that I really want to try. So kind of emphasizes the maybe it's not for me thing, but I'm going to keep walking and see what I can find. These are cute, these little head wraps or skirts or etc. <laughs> well, I guess they probably have both. Those are kind of cute. I wouldn't buy jewelry in this dark, so I can't really see for sure what I'm getting. That, this is a no. <laughs> Um, we definitely know. This one down here is kind of interesting. So Uncle Funky was like 30% off. Um, Black Friday is usually like 25% off. So it wasn't quite enough to get me to dip in yet. So, and that was the first, that was the only one so far that I might have been interested in. So this is the main stage. I'm definitely going to stay for the talk that I was kind of interested in. So that would have been the one other thing besides the sales that might have been interesting. So, there's supposed to be some performance, but I don't openly care about that. Supernatural. I am supernatural. <laughs> so here's here, yeah, which is I guess something else that might get me to take a look. Although her stuff works okay, if the scents are just so strong for me, but I'm gonna go take a look at this. To the mile, I think only the deep conditioner I was interested in from the new line. Um, I think the ingredients look good. It was kind of too tiny to tell from the labels right now without like being too obvious about it. Um, but it was like only like $12 instead of $15, which I think is probably 30% off again. So again, it's like comparable to Black Friday and I can definitely wait. But they had a really cute setup. So points for the setup and everybody's really nice. Some hair, which I definitely don't need because I don't use hair. Well, 59 for these skirts. I heard of these vegan lip stuff. That's probably the most tempting thing so far. But I have so many lipsticks at home I don't even use, so I don't know. But so they're not they're super hydrated. Won't be able to really see the shoes here. Hi. Have you heard of the lip bar? I did end up buying the lip bar. My first purchase um, was a kind of red color. It's kind of still wrapped up now. My lips didn't feel the softest, but. Since it's like vegan and natural, I decided to give it a try because like, the color was nice. So we'll see when I get home, I guess. So my first random purchase, I got these Brunner Brothers. The gel was actually pretty clean, so I got that. I got three six ounce jars for $10. And I guess when I get home, I'm going to show you guys more about them. But we're trying, I guess. The me, Rose was like $10 for everything. So I definitely got a bunch of stuff I don't need. Um, because I have all of them at home anyways, but I just decided to get a couple extra. So, I got an aloe butter gel, a curlade, two curl makers, and a lavender spritz. Ouch, yeah. But I don't think I'm buying anything else, so I might as well. So this looked interesting, this My Honey Baby, but I'm gonna check it out at Target. It was like $10 for stuff, and the regular price is like $13. So I'm gonna check it out at Target, but it smelled really good and seemed pretty natural. So it's an attachment that really gets to your roots. And let's see if it helps my hair dry faster. Freeze dryer. We're gonna Amazon that online. Check uh -huh. it out on Facebook, Instagram. Okay. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Done. Okay. I believe so. <laughs> so I saw both of her and these stuff. I think it's inspired by an 11 year old girl. The products look really good. So, definitely want to 
the driver. So we got here and there's like nobody there, so it's kind of disappointing, but. And that was one of the things I was interested in, but oh well. People have ideas. Don't y'all have ideas? But do you know how to get it to market? Do you know how to source your products? Do you know how to go to manufacturers? Do you know how to get prototypes? That's part of the problem. It's not that we are lack of ideas. It's getting the product to market. So that's yeah. something that my company does. African Americans have 13 times less wealth than whites. And Latinos have 10 times less wealth than whites. It's primarily driven by home ownership and business ownership. And so I think that when we support and we invest in small business ownership, especially among minority and women-owned businesses, we can change the complexion of our wealth futures together. That's number one. And number two, I just want to throw this out there, that uh, I was looking at the report for the color of wealth, where they found that there's approximately 1.1 million businesses um, that have been unopened by people of color. And that if, Did you say unopened? They are not, have not, have not open because of lack of resources, discrimination, and that if they were open, um, we would have 9 million more jobs in America today and $300 billion more um, in, our, in our GDP. A black graduate actually has the same wealth features as a white high school dropout. Actually has less wealth, less wealth. than a white high school dropout because they're in debt because of lack of intergenerational homeownership. External forces largely redlining, intergenerational racism, and structural forces that kept us from um, developing intergenerational intergenerational wealth for many. Speaking of home ownership as a primary driver of wealth, the reason that that type of statistic can exist is because of structural racism that has kept us from passing on intergenerational wealth in the form of home ownership due to things like redlining, discriminatory lending practices, etc. for the past hundred plus years. That's right. This is why black college graduates are typically graduate in debt, which does put you behind in wealth for a, a white person who has not not gone to college, but also have not incurred that debt. Right. White college graduates, because they have not been discriminated against in the homeownership realm, often have access to different capital, second mortgages, different kinds of funds available to fund their college education than black people who very often go into debt in order to go to college. So the answer to the people who will not become entrepreneurs or business owners is simple. It's to find a company to invest in. Because once you find a company to invest in, and we're talking about small companies, say, I got $1,000, what can you do with that? That's the way that people then become players in the game that they really don't want to enter. I was hanging out with my friend Ashley. Yes, hi, hi. So, I think I liked it overall. I mean, we did have fun. It so, was not you were my favorite yeah, part about it. Well, you were my favorite part about it. Part about it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes. So that was it. That was kind of my raw experience at the hair show. What are the takeaways? Like, what is my review for the ubiquitous? They definitely should have more signs and so on in place because I was kind of wandering around at first trying to even find a building, trying to find the floor, trying to find the room. So, definitely more signs. I was a little bit disappointed at that one discussion I wanted to go to. Maybe I didn't see anybody and they just ended it, but they should have stayed there for the full time or somebody should have. So, I was disappointed that when I got to the room, there was no one there. But the talk in the main area was really, really, really good. So I'm definitely glad that I went it for that. The discussions I wouldn't have necessarily gotten, definitely not for Black Friday. You know, maybe there are discussions online or so, but they, I believe they offered the opportunity for questions. So definitely worth it. And the sales made it worth it. I got back my money just in terms of the sales. Cause I only paid like $20 and that was the door price. So the cheapest was like 12 something, I guess, cause it was started off at like 15. With a coupon, you could have gotten in for like 12 something. If you had a nice friend, you could have gotten in for free. And you probably save like maybe $30 if you're bad on sales. So just the sales alone kind of cover the door price. You meet your girlfriends you have never met or you haven't seen in a long time. There are really good discussions about hair, so I don't really need the hair care aspect that much, but there were definitely demos going on hair care. And then that entrepreneurship panel was really good, and just seeing the owner of Mayel and Oyen and different black-owned companies kind of talk about 
why we need to become entrepreneurs that was so motivating and inspiring so just for that yay not all of the sales were really worth it but there were enough sales that were worth it for me to make back my entrance and I enjoyed just kind of getting out, seeing all the naturalistas, looking at the products, looking at the fashion and different things that were there as well. All the speakers, that was good, the music and the vibe. I'll definitely go back on a case by case basis so if I hear of a show I'm going to kind of see what it's about see what panels they have, try to figure out what vendors they have, although that wasn't possible for this one, you kind of had to go in and hope there were some good ones. I was a little bit disappointed that the Camille Rose didn't have any of her limited edition stuff, because I thought that was kind of a staple for hair shows, I wanted to see some of the fancy limited edition stuff that I'm always wishing I could get, I'm begging for, and she's like, no, it's just at the hair show, and I'm at the hair show, so why isn't it there? So, that was disappointing. Of course, Janelle herself, I didn't see her, so I was like, kind of looking forward to that. Jim Carter, Sultanicals, I didn't see them, so that was disappointing. You know, you just, you don't know what you're going to get. But I was happy to at least see the Camille Rose boot, even though Janelle wasn't there. I was happy to see Maya L doing their thing, even though I didn't get anything. I will consider probably getting a deep conditioner from the new line, but the sale wasn't really there for me to really go on it hard. So I was able to try that Eden Essentials body stuff. I'm not sure if it's at Sally's yet, but that was good. Paid for 15 so I got a good deal on that. So, yes, <laughs> we'll go back. It's all a case by case, but definitely open to it, and I did have fun. It was so good to see Ashkin Curls, so we'll definitely be hanging out more in the future. So, yay for that. Let me know if you want me to do more hair show videos, if I go to them, of course. It was a little bit awkward to vlog, but not that awkward, so I could see myself doing it again for my subbies, for you guys. So let me know if you want me to do that. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos like it. Just comment down below, like the video, you know, something like that to let me know. So thanks so much for watching and definitely subscribe for more content. Bye!